Hey, what's up? Um, you might have noticed I re gift my Elise, and um, I have nothing else to talk about or review or anything, so I'm just going to go over like what I did and how I did it, okay? So, um, this is regular Vicious Grip Tape, which is, in my opinion, the best grip tape you can buy. Um, there are a few problems. It's, it's the same stuff as I used to have, but um, this new stuff, for some reason, it seems that on the uh, rails, it, just, it wears off really easily. I don't know if you can see up here, but it's already worn off and it's pretty new but um, this time I tried doing some 3D kind of stuff and I gave it a kick which is not really that aggressive but it still functions um, I added on to the pockets that are already in the board so as you can see in the front the front pockets I've gotten a lot more aggressive up here I put another layer of fishes underneath this right about here it's just a little square right there and that's just to help lock my front foot in. And I added a tiny bit of grip right here and right here to lock my foot in when I'm free riding. And the back foot is where I did most of the work actually. So as you can see here um, in the lighting, uh, I'm trying to show you guys that. So I did a small ridge right here for toe sides. And that is just um, kind of when I'm tucking, my toe goes right there, and that's um, it's a two function thing. So, yeah, when I'm tucking, my toe goes right there, and when my toe side slides, my toe locks in, in between here and here, and it makes like a really nice pocket. I also added kind of a W ridge with um, kind of a flare at the back, and what some people call butt concave, and it's kind of like a, a, a W bowl ish kind of thing right here, wraps fully around both sides. So it really locks you in for, for doing slides. Um, I did add more on the uh, 3 the back too, and that really is really effective now. Um, I don't know if you can see that that well, but it's really effective when you're sliding. Um, the 3D stuff at the back, it's really nice because I can just lock my foot into this kind of pocket right here when I'm doing toe sides, and it locks me really well. Um, another thing I did with this board is... When I was gripping it, I put electrical tape underneath the grip on the rails, as you can kind of see there. And that's just for protection, because uh, when my board slipped over previous times, it's uh, the rails are chipped or smashed or whatever. So, um, yeah, I have this underneath the rails, and it doubles kind of as a concave additive. It just adds a tiny bit more uh, lit rise on the rails right here. It's not that noticeable, but... Um, the 3D right here really, really helps. But probably my favorite feature of this is this W ridge, because depending on where your foot goes, when you're doing toe sides, your toe locks in right there. And when I'm doing heel sides, my toe goes, my ball, my foot goes right on that W, right on that big kind of bulge right there, and it works really well. Uh, I also wrap the gripper on the rails and stuff, cutting it. I cut it in the middle just for early grabs, but I like wrapping around the rails just because that really kind of helps for like uh, toe sides and whatnot, uh, kind of like a gas pedal. Also, um, I did a small ridge right here. It's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. Like you can't, can barely see that, but there is a ridge right here. And that isn't, is kind of for heel sides, I guess. I don't notice what I'm riding, but you know what? Whatever, more features on my board. Um, this is a really nice kind of thing to do. Uh, I use electrical tape for most of it because I realized after doing the first print, which is the kicktail, that Vicious doesn't really stick to Vicious as well as they advertise. But it is still probably my favorite grip tape. Um, it works wonders for staying stuck on the board. It doesn't last that long, like on the rails that is. But um, it's really, it's easy to peel off. It's really functional. My That's probably my base feature, actually. Uh, favorite part of it. Um, that when I was taking the grip tape off, it's not like Jessup or whatever, that rips and leaves kind of sticky residue. It comes off in one sheet. It comes off how you put it on. And that's really nice, because when you're gripping a board, you don't want to have to like wait a few hours peeling all the little bits and pieces off, right? So you can also re-salvage the old stuff and make it into 3D stuff. 
Um, that's it for this video. If you have any other videos you want me to make or things you want me to talk about, um, just message me on YouTube or leave a comment. Um, I can also talk about the nose guards I made my board. Can't see them that well. They all look kind of like gum, but it's shugu. I just I put on the rails and let it dry. It's on the kicktail and the on the nose too. And honestly, it helps a lot. Like um, I don't know my my board. I do kick it up a lot with this tail, and this shugu has stayed strong for several months now, and it's good strong stuff. It sticks easily. Um, the only problem is it takes a few hours to dry, but other than that, it's all good. Um, yeah, if you have anything else you want me to do, just hit me up.